guys good morning welcome to another vlog excuse the fact that my face looked like i just came out of a frying pan i just did skincare so she's glowing as you can see right there my mattress been on the floor i have a plastic underneath it but i'm ready for it to be off the floor and on a bed frame my bed frame got delivered this morning. I'm super excited about that. I was in the shower. Before I could get downstairs, those delivery guys were gone. I was really trying to catch them because that bed is heavy. Even the queen size that I got was heavy. So imagine the king size and it coming like multiple boxes. I also need to put up these blinds in these windows right here. I already put up the one in my bedroom and these um, two over here. Now I need to put the rest of them up and I also need to get this out of the way. I did laundry yesterday, so I have a whole lot of things going on right now. This is going in one of the guest bedroom. So let's go downstairs, ignore all of the mess. Floors are coming along. Yesterday, when I started putting up all of those blinds, I realized I need a ladder. We got a ladder and I really like this one. It's like a step ladder and it come with this bucket tray. This is definitely a need to have item in the house. Y'all, you see how big this box is? I'm just gonna open these boxes down here and take the item upstairs one at a time. I think that would be the smart thing to do because this thing is too heavy. What was that? Low key, I'm having a grass competition. You see how there's a clear line right there where the grass on the other side is greener? Then my grass. Yesterday, I went to Home Depot, got some fertilizer, and I put it on my grass. So hopefully, within a week, I can start seeing some green action on this side because I don't like the fact that that grass is greener than mine. I know. I need to water my grass. Yeah. I'm going to put you guys down and get started on this bed. mercy this thing took me four hours to put together i was struggling okay <laughs> but it was worth it i love how it looks the mattress it's not too high it's not too low it just fit perfectly i love that i also went ahead and got their resident serenity sleep bundle let me open it show you guys what it come with came with two king size pillows the mattress protector and the sheet set so last night i put these shades up i didn't put any on this um, window because the one that i got wasn't going back up correctly and then this window beautiful i really like how it let in a lot of light so i have the blue tape up to kind of get a feel of what it would look like if i added the grid 
I want to get like a balance to cover this top part. Let me show you guys a close up of the window. I don't know why it's not focusing. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'm scraping this with like my nails. That paint is in there. It's not coming off. I love how it came out. I don't know what my camera is doing the most right now, but I hope you guys can see the texture is coming off like a metal. Maybe you guys can see it better from here. Since painting these windows, I have opened them multiple times and I don't have like peeling or anything. Hey guys. Good morning. So the sofa is getting delivered tomorrow. It has been five weeks since I ordered the sofa. I'm nervous because I've never seen this sofa in person. I did a blind buy, ordered it online, saw a bunch of YouTube reviews and decided to purchase it. Hopefully I like it because I don't wanna go through the hassle of having to return such a large piece of furniture. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I'm excited that it's finally coming. Before they get here, I wanna do a little bit of cleaning up, mop the floors, and also do a reveal of the floor so you guys can see what it looks like while the space is still empty. And once the sofa get here and I open everything, I will show you guys what the sofa looks like. Alrighty, y'all. Let me start from this side. Another DIY project going on. I did replace the door and now I'm painting it black. So that's what's going on over there. This is the dining room area. Pretty much everything is done. The baseboards are all done. They look kind of painted, but they're not. I just use a primer on them and I still need to go back and paint them. The pattern changed between these two. So I added this transitional strip right here and this is the kitchen area and this is the living room y'all i was up late last night trying to get this living room as finished as possible it's a little dark in here let me open all these windows And this is the eating area. Let me bring you guys on this side. Give you guys a 360. And on this side of the kitchen. Back to the dining room area. But everything is pretty much done. This area is the only place that I still need to let me turn this light on. So in this area, I still need to add a transitional strip right there, right here between the tile and the floors. Also, I need to do the caulking in this area and prime the baseboard. The only reason why I'm actually priming the baseboard before I paint it is because you guys see how some of the paint are peeling off of the baseboard to kind of prevent those like areas from showing through the paint that is why i am priming it that is it guys that is the reveal of the floors <laughs> i still can't believe i did all of this by myself was it easy absolutely not i will never i don't want to say never but i would not want to do this again by myself i honestly underestimated how much work this was and it wasn't just work it was tedious it was a lot of little details that i needed to pay attention to and the part that really annoyed me was having to figure out where all of these little pieces go with the baseboard i feel like now i have so much confidence in my skill as a diyer and you can't tell me nothing i have like a pallet left of floors still in the garage so i do plan on using that for my sitting area in my bedroom but that will probably be a few months from now let me know in the comment if you want to see a full detailed tutorial of that and i might move that video to earlier than later um 
what i want to do right now before they get here with the sofa is mop the entire downstairs and get everything really clean it is a white sofa so i was gonna do that last night but then i realized i i'm looking at my plants and just amazed by how fast this olive tree is growing let me show you guys look at all these leaves these are all new leaves. Do you guys see that? Let me just say this. I'm known for having a green thumb. So, and the grass outside is also, let me show you guys my grass outside. I get excited about green stuff. I don't want to show my neighborhood or anything. Let me bring you guys down a little bit. I guess the fertilizer did work. It's getting green y'all. It's getting green that is pretty much it i am about to go to the store get some cleaning solution I'm glad I took the time to do the pleating. I don't like how light these two in the middle look. So I'm gonna add an extra panel on each side just to make it look a little bit more fuller and then leave the end the way they are. For now, I'm using this rug that I had in my apartment, in my living room. Clearly, it is way too small for this space. Right now, everything is neutral. I'm not quite sure the color scheme that I want to go with in this living room. So for now, this would do. It is a modular sectional. It is definitely giving cloud couch dupe. I did not expect it to look this white. Not cream, not off-white. It is a pure white. The fabric look like it get dirty easily. But with that being said, I did get a five-year warranty in case of any accidental spill, stain that cannot be removed. It would send me a replacement cover. What really sold me on this sectional was all of the reviews that I read. Everybody raved about how comfortable this sectional is. The cushions have both feathers and foam inserts which make it very comfortable but not to a point where when you sit in it you kind of sink i definitely need to go ahead and scotch guard it a couple of times to add a little bit of protection that is it guys if you enjoyed this vlog make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next vlog thanks for watching bye guys